Thank you, everyone, for joining us today here at the University of Cincinnati, where the co-op engine of work integrated learning was born in 1906. This launch marks a moment in history where the global work integrated education leaders have joined in this room together to position CWIE as a key strategy in the development of the future global workforce. We've been joined today by our interchange employer friends and by the heads of eight separate uh, national associations from around the world representing co-op and work integrated education. Today, you take the lead in this work as an inaugural charter member. And to start that off, of course, I must start with the birthplace of cooperative education president, Dr. Neville Pinto from the University of Cincinnati. And on behalf of the presidents of the universities, I'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Johnson, and the rest of the staff for being uh, so proactive in creating this charter, which I know will serve our students well. So thank you. Thank you very much, President Pinto. Much appreciated. Thank you. Dr. Nora McRae, Professor Arnold Van Zyl. And I also want to say that we're very proud of our relationship with DHBW, which goes back many, many years and is a, a wonderful example, actually, of international cooperation around the field of cooperative education. The Australian Collaborative Education Network, otherwise known as ASIN. I want to make you aware of the Association for Sandwich Education and Training out of the UK, known as ASSET, who are going to sign but will be doing so virtually the Canadian Association for Work Integrated Learning, CWIL, the New Zealand Association for Cooperative Education, NZACE, the Thai Association for Cooperative Education, TACE, the Villar Network out of Sweden, that works on future skilling and work, educated, uh, work integrated education, and the Cooperative Education and Internship Association of the United States, also known as CEIA. From Canada, representing Mount Royal University, Dr. Tim Raleigh, President. Elizabeth L., VP Teaching and Learning. And from the University of Toronto Scarborough, Dr. Wisdom Teddy. From Japan, I would like to welcome up Kanazawa Institute of Technology, President and his many VPs, Ms. Keiko Seda <laughs> from our NPO in Japan and also Waste Board member. Now from Malaysia, Professor Malik from the University Utara, Malaysia. Ms. Hernandez Torres representing Universidad Tech Milenio. Mexico City. From the Netherlands, Paul Zevenberger, representing NBAO. From New Zealand, Professor Burns from Massey University. And also from New Zealand, Dr. Longhurst from the University of Waikato. From South Africa, I'd like to ask uh, Professor and Principal Hans de Jäger from the Central University of Technology to join us. Thank you. And now from Thailand, with a delegation, actually it's uh, Dr. Atit from Surinari University of Technology first. Prince of Songkla University in Thailand, please join us. Dr. Sadasuk Bonchirak. Thank you. And Dr. Sharum Puchakayan from Walala University in Thailand, which is fantastic. Uh, Sepatong University, could you please come on up? Cassie Barlow, President of the Southern Ohio Council for Higher Education. Dr. M. Kelly, President of Suffolk. Dr. Monica Posey, president of our just down the way Cincinnati State, and Ms. Maria Rickert, director of co-op and career services at Rochester University in New York. And I'd like to call up Dr. Nagy, Nathan, who is the 
president of Oregon Institute of Technology in Oregon, USA, as well as a long-standing waste board member. Dr. David Rogers, president of SUNY Morrisville. Dr. Pat Sindel, professor representing President Chris Hopi from Merrimack University in Boston. Mr. Ian Sladen, VP Co-op and Career Development from Drexel University in Philadelphia. Jordan Vogel, VP Talent Initiatives on behalf of the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce who also wanted to be included. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us today. I, I hope that this is the beginning of realizing many, many of the aspirational goals we have outlined in the Charter through the partnerships and the agreements and the, the true commitment to this model that has been demonstrated today and to raise this up and provide enormous numbers of quality, work-integrated education experiences around this world for the up-and-coming next generation. Thank you.